Hi friends, welcome to getroidtips.com. In this video, I will be showing you how to install stock firmware that is Samsung Galaxy firmware on any Galaxy devices. I am using Galaxy Note 9 for this guide. The procedure are same for every devices from Samsung. So you can use the same guide, I mean the same procedure for any Samsung devices. All you have to do is first of all you need to enable the USB debugging on your device. I have given the link in the description. You can watch the video how to enable the USB and then you have to download the Odin zip file. Even that link is in the description. You can just go there and download the Odin zip file. And then you need the firmware. I mean you need to download the exact firmware. For example if you are using Galaxy S9 you have to download the Galaxy S9 firmware. For for me I am uh, have downloaded already downloaded all the zip file Odin zip file and even the firmware zip file. So let me show you how to install the stock firmware. First of all you need to create a new folder called Odin. Once you have created now extract the Odin zip file and the firmware to the same folder. Now turn off your device completely. Once your device has turned off, you can hold the volume down plus Bixby button together and then connect your phone to PC using a USB cable. your device will boot into download mode. Now press the volume up button to continue. You will see a pop up like com id in a blue background. That means your phone has been connected properly. Now in the Hodin application you need to load the appropriate file. For AP, you need to select the AP file and for bootloader that is BL, you need to select the BL file that is bootloader file and for CP, you need to download uh, select the CP file and for the CSC and the user data, you need to select the appropriate file. You can now hit the start button. Now you will see your device will start installing the firmware. You have to wait for a couple of minutes until you see a pass message on your Odin application.
once you see the pass message your device will reboot into the new firmware on your phone thanks for watching we will come back with new series of guide till then goodbye